Wafbeck 2022 has been actually amazing. Um, I came with a lot of expectation and those expectations were not cut off uh, at all. They were not. It's been a, th there's been such a reception of the Word of God. I like being in a place where people are ready to receive the Word of God. So in summary, the, the experience has been amazing. What I enjoyed most about being here is the people are alive. <laughs> they're not dead. <laughs> people are alive. They're alive to the Word of God. Like I said earlier, they're receptive of the Word of God and, and they respond to the Word of God. And responding is not just the noise making. The responding is you, you just know when you're a preacher, you know when someone is pulling from you. So you can feel the people actually pull from you as they listen to the Word of God. And that was very rewarding for me. There was a lot of expectation in the atmosphere. And you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a convention that takes the whole day. So you would think probably by the afternoon session, people would be tired and sleepy, but I didn't see anybody go to sleep. Each session looked like it was like the very first time they were coming into church. So a lot of, a lot of expectation. The mercy of God is generous. There is plenty of the mercy of God. God is rich in mercy. God is wealthy in mercy. God wants to spend his mercy on you so you rob yourself when you don't let him lavish his mercy on you. That's what I'd say in summary about the mercy of God. You know, you're watching and you're going through guilt and condemnation. First of all, if you're not, you're not born again, you need to meet the mercy seat. Jesus is the mercy seat himself. If Jesus comes into your life, that's the first step to understanding that he makes you the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And then if you're born again and you're walking through cycles of condemnation you need to understand that you're already righteous and you've got the mercy seat living in you so take advantage of it and go boldly to the throne of grace go with audacity like David did to the throne of grace and obtain that mercy you don't have to live in condemnation for the gospel is not a gospel of condemnation at all it is a gospel of love and mercy and forgiveness